Morning Prayer for Christmas Eve When we continue to use the Old Testament and Gospel lectionary readings for Holy Communion. O Lord, open our lips. And our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Reveal among us the light of your presence. That we may behold your power and glory. Blessed are you, Sovereign God of all, to you be praise and glory for ever. In your tender compassion the dawn from on high is breaking upon us to dispel the lingering shadows of night. As we look for your coming among us this day, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Amen. And as we rejoice in the gift of this new day, say, may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. And the word of God from 2 Samuel chapter 7. Now when the king was settled in his house and the Lord had given him rest from all his enemies around him, the king said to the prophet Nathan, See now, I am living in a house of cedar, but the ark of God stays in a tent. Nathan said to the king, Go, do all that you have in mind, for the Lord is with you. But that same night the word of the Lord came to Nathan, Go and tell my servant David, Thus says the Lord, Are you the one to build me a house to live in? Now therefore thus you shall say to my servant David, Thus says the Lord of hosts, I took you from the pasture, from following the sheep, to be prince over my people Israel, and I have been with you wherever you went, and have cut off all your enemies from before you. And I will make you a great name, like the name of the great ones of the earth. And I will appoint a place for my people Israel, and will plant them, so that they may live in their own place, and be disturbed no more and evildoers shall afflict them no more as formerly, from the time that I appointed judges over my people in Israel, and I will give you rest from all your enemies. Moreover, the Lord declares to you that the Lord will make you a house, your house and your kingdom shall be made sure for ever before me, your throne shall be established for ever. And the New Testament reading from Luke chapter 1 beginning to read at verse 67. And this passage is the Benedictus, which has been used at morning prayer since the first centuries of the church's life. Then his father, Zachariah, was filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke this prophecy. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has looked favourably on his people and redeemed them. He has raised up a mighty saviour for us in the house of his servant David as he spoke through the mouth of his holy prophets from of old, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hands of all who hate us. Thus he has shown the mercy promised to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant, the oath which he swore to our ancestor Abraham to grant us that we, being rescued from the hands of our enemies, might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him, all our days. And you, child, shall be called the prophets of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of his salvation to his people by the forgiveness of their sins. By the tender mercy of our God, the dawn from on high will break upon us to give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death, to guide our feet into the way of peace. Let us pray. Lord, prepare the way for us. Prepare the way of our relations, our finances, our days, our nights. Prepare the way of our thinking, of our understanding, our praying. And make straight the paths of our hearts and lives that we may be ready to receive you this Christmas. Amen. And the Collect for today, Almighty God, you make us glad with the yearly remembrance of the birth of your Son, Jesus Christ. 
grant that as we joyfully receive him as our Redeemer, so we may with sure confidence behold him when he shall come to be our judge, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Awaiting his glory, coming in glory, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May the Lord, when he comes, find us watching and waiting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.